Welcome to this week's Tech Tip. One of the most common issues that we hear about from Mac users are issues with printing. The first is a hold for authentication issue, and the second is missing copiers. Let's start by looking at the hold for authentication error. This is a result of an incorrect password being used. This most often happens after a password is changed in Office 365. If you've gone to the Office 365 portal and changed your password and settings, the password that you've changed has now synced to many other services, including Delta Schools, Delta Learns, your Wi-Fi, as well as your printing. But it will not have synced to your computer, so that'll need to be changed. Because the password didn't sync, the next time you go to print, you'll have the printer bounce in the dock, and when you open it, you'll find this hold for authentication error. To correct this issue, you'll need to delete the passwords that have been stored in your computer in Keychain. To find this, go up to Spotlight, type in Keychain, select Keychain Access, and then ensure that you've selected login and all items. From there, look for the printers and copiers that need to be deleted. These are usually listed next to a little blue circle with an at sign and often start with the school's code. Select the printers and then delete them. You can do this by using the delete key or right click and then select delete. Now return to Word, select print, and a dialog box appears. By name, enter your employee number, and then for password, your Delta Schools password. Select Remember Me so it remembers you and OK. Any other issues other than the authentication problem can probably be solved by reinstalling your printers. Before reinstalling your printers, first go into System Preferences, select Printers and Scanner, and delete the Find Me printers or any other printers that you'd like to remove that are being problematic. Next, look on the dock for the Delta School District Self-Service app. If you cannot find it on your dock, go into Applications and Finder and launch the app. Once in the self-service app, scroll down until you find the printers. Click on reinstall. After the printers are reinstalled, launch Word, open a blank document or a document you're working on, proceed to file, print. You'll now see that the printers have been installed. Click on print. You may be asked for your credentials. Once again, your name is your employee number and the password is your employee connect password. And then you should be able to print.